Hey, hi everyone. In this video, I'll be going to tell you how you can create a connected app and how you can authenticate your connected app with the postman. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's start with the first step. Uh, and just to tell you, right, so in the end, I would be documenting all these steps and would be putting it my in the uh, notes and description of this video so you if you don't want to go through the complete video and just want to check all the details you have an option to read through description and get those details and if you find an issue and you want to see how i have to do each and every step manually you can go through this video of course okay so i'm assuming that you have already logged into this particular salesforce org the first step that you have to do so you have to go to lightning so that's the first thing that you have to make sure that you keep it in the lightning version and not in the classic version then you have to go to the setup okay under setup you will see the quick find click on app here like and you will see the app manager so click on this app manager Okay, you have to click on this app manager and then you get an option of new lightning app and new connected app okay so if you click on this new connected app so you can give the name of the connected app you can say test app so api name would be auto defaulted and then you can give your uh, email address here at the rate gmail or whatever right whatever is your email address you can give this email address to you but once you will put this email address uh, salesforce will authenticate this email address so you have to authentic you have to go to this email address and authenticate your email address so once you do this uh, then you have to select on enable OAuth settings so as soon as you will click on the enable OAuth settings it will ask you the callback url so the callback url what you have to do is you have to use the login dot salesforce.com oauth and success so i will put that url again in the uh, description of this video and if you want to see it like how it should be so again i have all these steps manually so this was so the url would look like this actually so login dot salesforce.com services oauth success so this is what would be your url again this is what i'm saying for the production environment so this will be the callback url okay so uh, under the select both scopes so you what you can do you can give you full access here so basically when you'll get the full access the uh, the connected app gives complete all the permissions basically to the end user to authenticate or to get the data from the from your system and then under this required secret for web server flow and secret you can just uncheck these two settings not required and once you're done this you can just click on save okay so once you're done once you are done with this uh, you can again go back here click on the app manager okay you will see the connected app is successfully saved okay and you will see like this okay so i have uh, multiple apps and then this is the app which i have created for this purpose so you can use this one if you click here and click on view okay so if you click on this one so this is the app that i have created for this purpose and i have put all those details which i have told you and then this is the callback url again i have given you the full access right and then this is the place where i can get the consumer details so once the app is successfully generated or created what we would need in the end from this particular connected app is the consumer key and the consumer secret so consumer key and consumer secret basically will help you authenticate your salesforce or with the postman or any third party that you want to connect to okay so i hope i hope you are clear with the how you can do this setup or how you can create a new connected app in the salesforce system right now we'll come to the second part of it and the second part is how you can create or how you can uh, do the settings in the postman definitely you have to download the postman latest version in your system and then once you're done with that so this is how the postman would look like so again 
I will just guide you all the, uh, you know, the URL that it should be or the parameters that you have to set. So under params, nothing you have to do here. So you have to click on authorization. Under authorization, you have to make sure that you select O2 here. So under add authorization data to, you have to select request header. And then I'll guide you the other settings that you have to do. So you have to provide or you have to create a token basically so that you can authenticate with the system. So you have to go to configure new token and then you have to provide the token name. You can give any name here and then you can under the grant type, you have to select password credentials. Under the access token, again, I will put this in the description of this video. It should be login.salesforce.com services or to token. Then you will have to provide the client ID, client secret, client ID, you have to provide client secret username and then you have to provide the password. So under client authentication, you have to share password credentials in the body. And then once you will generate the new token, you can use that new token for making the next call out. So once you will do that, you have to provide the service URL of your particular service that you have generated. In my case, I have created an Apex class, which is a pretty simple Apex class just for this particular demonstration. I have created the rest class, which is named as account details. And uh, I have just have one method, which is get method here in this particular class. And it is taking input as input as the ID, account ID. And then it is returning you the name and phone of that particular account and returning as a response to us. Okay, so if I have to just do the testing of this particular service, I have, uh, this is the URL that it would look like. It would be your HTTPS, my domain, then my.salesforce.com backslash services, Apex rest. And then this is the name of your Apex class. And then I'm inputting the in account ID as the parameter, which I have for my particular get method. So once I click on this send, so you will see here, it is returning me the name which is ABC account and phone number of that particular account in the response. Okay, so yeah, so this is how you can do the testing again like with this uh, and just make sure that this is a get method. So you have to sh make sure that you select get method here so that you get a proper response. If you select post, let's say you have written a get get method in the Apex class and you're doing the post call, it will give you an error message saying that a method not allowed, post not allowed. So you have to make sure whatever method you have written in the class, you select the same here and click on send. So I hope uh, you have liked this video and uh, I just tried to make this video pretty simple so that you understand how you can create any Epix class in Salesforce, how you can create a connected app and how you can authenticate your connected app with the postman. So if you've liked this video, please do not forget to like and share this video and do not forget to subscribe my channel i'll see you in another video and uh, i would love to see your comments what kind of videos you want to see next thank you thanks everyone